So I got this letter in the mail and I think you're gonna wanna read this. Okay. Well, letter is definitely like weird, right? Yeah, it's uh, just a blank letter. And it has like a, a wax seal, which I haven't seen on a letter in a very, very long time. I mean, who even sends letters these days, man? Right? Yeah, exactly. So let's see what's inside this letter. Yep, open her up. So it's it's from Marius. <laughs> <laughs> it is from Marius. Dude, it's... I, I don't even remember the last time we've seen him, right? Like It, it was, was, I think, nine months ago? Yeah, it was... Uh, Siren Head. Siren right? Head Forest, yeah. And then we we saw the footage of him in the forest with us. He was on one of our cameras, and he was just there. I tried to contact him many times, and never. Uh... This is the first time I have heard anything from him. Okay, well I'm gonna read it. Is that okay? Yeah. It says, "Hey, it's Marius. Feels like forever since we've talked. I've been off the grid for a long time, working on something big, something." I think I may need your help. Call my burner phone whenever you can. The number is, and then there's the number, do not call from your phone. Use a payphone or I will not answer. Payphone? Where are we going to find a payphone in 2020? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, you are my last resort. Please call me as soon as possible. Cheers, Marius. So he's on to something. He, what could he have been? You know, he's always like working on something crazy, right? And he's been through so many things. I'm just wondering what could be so big that he's had to go off the grid. Yeah. When none other things he made him go like take that route. Yeah, exactly. So I'm I'm just thinking like he's saying he needs our help. Like mm -hmm. he's like desperate to like find whatever he's like trying to track. I'm guessing it's like some kind of like creature because that's always like be, right? what he's always been looking after so it has to be i think we go to a payphone i don't know where we're gonna find one but we're gonna call that number mm -hmm. and we're gonna see what the hell he's talking about and try to get some answers from last time man because yeah that was uh, it's been so long and like he's got he's got to have something he's got i want to know what exactly happened last time we saw him in siren heads forest as well as what he's been up to and why he needs our help so badly. So let's uh, let's go looking for a payphone. All right guys, so we made it to a gas station and what do you know, right here we have a, a payphone. A freaking actual payphone guys. We drove everywhere to find this. And we finally got one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna try to contact Marius. It is a little late because we have been driving around looking for one of these and we're just gonna try calling him. Hopefully he answers and we'll see exactly what the hell he wants us to help him with, so. Here we go, do you know how to work one of these, pal? You're a little younger than me. <laughs> uh, I used to actually prank call a lot of people with these things. Uh, what a classic. Yeah, untraceable, so. It's the money sure in the we slot. Just cents, so I'll just put in the number. It's ringing. It's ringing. So it's an active payphone. That's uh, Ooh. that's good. Yeah, bro. What a psychopath. I'm trying to film a video here. <laughs> Nothing. I just went to, not even voicemail. It's just done. I think it's like broken or something. It's, it's kind of strange. Um, try again. Try again. Yeah. Anything? It is ringing. So. Please, please pick up. Hopefully. Again, nothing? I don't know if you could hear that, guys, but it's on that, like, mm, sound. Okay, so he tells us to call him with a payphone, and then... I think it might have been just, like, too late. It is, like, 11 o'clock at night, so... The man is most likely sleeping. Sleeping? Um, we're probably gonna have to come back to... There's no way. What? There's no, there's actually no way. Okay, I'm gonna pick up. Hello? There's what? Uh, yeah, this it's it's me. Yep. Uh, yeah, I got your letter, everything. Uh, you're saying you need our help? 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have your phone? Uh, oh. You write something down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One sec. Okay, I got notepad open. Okay. Uh, Marius, uh, can you say the numbers now? Uh, two. Okay. S say that num last number again. Uh, five. Five. You got it. Yeah. Okay. I got it all. Okay. Every. We got the. We got it. Okay. Yep. Tomorrow. Yeah. We. We can be there. We could be there. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. There's no way, dude. Tomorrow, 9.15 p.m., we need to be at those coordinates. Okay. And Mary says he's gonna be there and he's gonna tell us everything. All right, guys, so we are currently at the location or near the location where Marius told us to be and there's just a bunch of woods everywhere. We just pulled on into like a type of parking lot. Woods everywhere and the coordinates are somewhere deep along like one of these paths. So we're just gonna go down there, try to get exactly where he told us to go and hopefully he's there. We're almost on time and it's currently 9 p.m. So we got about 10 minutes before we actually meet him. So let's go. So we're currently exactly where the coordinates were supposed to take us and we don't see him uh, anywhere it's been two minutes and no sign of Mary so we're just gonna keep walking I don't know if he's coming from where we were or like he's out here somewhere so it's probably out here somewhere I would hopefully I would say. And it's like really really dark so I'm assuming he'd be on this path somewhere <sighs> but Hopefully. it's really, really creepy. I've been hearing like sounds in the woods and stuff. Do you oh, wait a minute. Is that him? That has to be him, right? Hello? Hello? Can you, you come? Hey, how's it you going? just couldn't resist, could you? Uh, yeah, no, not really. I mean... I know what you did. Uh, I know what you guys did. Sorry? I know that you went to the Southern Head Forest told you not to oh yes sorry I mean it was it was just too good of a story to like not pursue you know what I mean well anyway thanks for coming I suppose yeah you said you needed our help for something I You're do like I do I do I do need your help so uh, there's something in this forest it's, it's, uh, it's, sort, this of a, it's sort of a thing I don't you know I think for once I don't really know how to explain it. You don't it's, know how to explain it? What do you... It's it's a creature. It's half goat and half man. It lurks at night and is really, really dangerous. And I really need your help with it. You're saying it's here, right like now? Like, in this force, like... What if I told you guys that it could be watching us right now? Okay, so you're saying this thing is half goat, half, half goat man. man, and half man. Um, Nick, we, but okay, we, we let's heard... not let's not get carried away with all the nonsense details. I, the real reason for which I need you guys here is to really help my beloved aunt. I, she means the world to me. And she lives in this forest. If you just if you just go straight down the road, 108, you, you you'll see her house. And I'm just so worried for her. She's here all alone with this. And I know that you guys like to travel and go places and and deal with everything. If you know what I mean. Yeah. You, um, so you so you need help with your aunt. Your your aunt. Yeah, yeah. I I really need help. I really need your guys' help. I um, really need your help. So... You're gonna be able to help me, right? Um... You're gonna help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, I mean, we, we came all the way here to like... Okay. To okay. hear what Perfect. you had to say, and you're saying... I... That your your aunt... She lives. Does she have like any like... How do you know that this thing is here? Like, what's your proof that this thing actually exists? She's seen it multiple times. All I know is just from vague details that she's told me. I haven't seen it myself. And so you're out here. But I just know. You're out here hunting this thing down. No. You're here hunting it, not me. Okay. Uh. Well, if if we could like speak to your aunt, maybe yep. like have a like way to like yep. go to her house or whatnot, and like. 
I've got a key. Right here. Oh. What's that for? That's for the, uh, for the aunt's house. Okay. You have a key. Okay. And you just carry this around. Um. Okay. I guess we have everything we need. We just... We could just go to your aunt's house at any time, like... Yeah. Okay. Uh, so... It was, uh, it was... Just remember, a favor for me is a favor for you. Okay. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna go back to the car now. Go. Yeah. What was that? Run! What? What? Okay, let's go, let's go. What the hell was that? Okay guys, we just drove away from the location. We got on the car as fast as we could. I didn't want to film anything because of that sound that we heard. Super freaking creepy man. Dude, like, what the hell was wrong with Marius? I, like, he was acting very, very sus. The and strangest, like, encounter we've ever had with him, I think. Absolutely. And then him just running off at the end again? Like, he... Did he lure us into that forest on purpose? I feel like there was, like, see us like be seen by this thing i don't know it's like weird like <laughs> uh i have no idea but i'm starting to question um using marius more because things just keep getting weirder and weirder and uh, i don't know man i just have a bad feeling about him and this this thing that he's describing half man half goat is he talking about the goat man i from the that mystery box right yeah like, like few months ago like over a year ago guys yeah, we opened way over a year ago this like box that had all this stuff about the goat man and stuff Check it out. holy crap is that the goat man it has to be right what the hell and then guys look there's like a body of some sort it's i've thrown monsters. out that box like a long time ago so i don't know if i'm able to like try to like go watch the video again and see like what kind of stuff is in there but i'm pretty sure there's like a way to summon him and stuff so we have the key. Yeah. We can go to the aunt's house and and see if we could find this thing. She's saying that she's seen this thing like watching her. Like this thing is like dangerous. Absolutely. It sounds very dangerous. I don't know if I really want to do this, but he says he needs our help. The amount of times that he has helped us, I think we owe him this favor. But after this, I don't know, man. It's, I don't think we should keep seeing him. I think, yeah, this one is gonna be the last one. We find this thing for him and it's done. And then it's done, yeah. We tell him that this thing does exist. We try to get footage of this thing and hopefully we get out of here okay and we can tell Marius we're over. That's it. Goat men? What, what the hell is that? So I've done a little bit of research. So it's this experiment, science experiment that went horribly wrong and it like got loose somehow and it's just like this monster that's half man and half goat and he carries an axe okay really yeah do you actually believe that um yes me and nick we've we found proof like photographs of yeah. the goat man like long time ago uh, i don't know if i ever talked about it like this monster box this is how I found out oh, about Slenderman and stuff. Yeah, that was like that was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. In that box, there was evidence of the Goat Man. Interesting. And there was photographs of him, and you know, there's even a way to like summon him somehow. Um, really? Summon him? Yeah. But this place is where apparently Goat Man is like going around and like, like, killing stuff. So it's. Who did you hear this from? Marius. He uh, he contacted us again. Really? Yep. Wow. Okay. Huh. Yeah, we went to visit him and he's saying that he needs our help. Our help. Yeah. And I think we we should try and like help him out because he did seem like he was kind of like desperate almost. Really? Very desperate. Yeah. yeah. Man, is it dangerous? Um, seeing that he does wield an axe, I would say it can be pretty dangerous. The last time we did something like this was what? S siren Head? Yes, yeah, Siren Head. And it went terribly wrong. Why would we want to do that again? This right here. What's that? A key? For what? Last time we went to the forest, we had nothing. Bro, we were sitting in the tent and we heard these massive, like, footsteps. And the trees, like, they were shaking.
sleeping. Like, shaking. What? What? Yeah, yes. it was Look. like right here. It was. It seemed like it was behind us. I don't know. I'm freaking out, man. We 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 gotta go. Dude. Honestly, I have to go. We went in a tent. We're camping out. Yeah, that's true. Not really safe. Marius' aunt owns a house, and this is why he want he wants us to go to her house and try to hunt down the goat man. Work on it. Uh, so this is a key to her house. Yeah. And what, does she have like weapons and stuff, or is it just like a normal house? I think it's just a, like a normal house. There's and protecting. she's been she's been seeing like eyes in like the woods and stuff, and she really? thinks that something's like hunting her. So bro, that is yeah. So is this like a rescue mission or what? Literally, kind of, kind yeah, of like it's kind mission. of like a rescue mission. I guess it's a bit different than the sour head situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not in a No, tent. it's a little bit we different. We prepared. We that could guy. lock the doors, board it up, that's, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's fair, better than a tent. So, you're asking if it's safe? Uh, it's a lot safer than the last time, but it's not 100% safe. <laughs> you're never safe with these kinds of things, never. Yeah, never. never. So, what do you guys think? You think this is a good idea? I don't think it's a good idea, but we have to. It's our duty as good Samaritans. Yeah. Like, I, 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 Maris has done a lot for us in the past, so I mm -hmm. feel like for the most, we should probably pay it back, you know? So you're down? Let's do it. Friendship. On three? One, two, three. Friend Friendship! Friendship.